Previously on Two Texans Travel. We finish up our time in the Ho Rainforest in Olympic National Park, meet some nasty weather at the beach, and take our tiny home to Oregon. Currently we're parked at Fort Stevens State Park in Astoria, Oregon. Good morning. We are going fishing today. Yeah. So my cousin's up here in Oregon invited us to go fishing so we're going with her husband Jason and he's gonna take us all out the wife we're gonna go catch some salmon uh, so we're having a quick breakfast it's early in the morning he's gonna come pick us up here in a bit and then we'll pack some bags and we're taking the GoPro not the 4k so we will not have good audio but we can't take this gear out on the water so Anyway, peace. Hopefully, we'll update you with some fish. In the cousin's truck, headed to the ocean slash river slash freshwater saltwater mixture to save fish. You, you're lucky. Just in time. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is pretty here. We could have brought all our camera gear. We've got about 400 pounds worth of camera. <laughs> you want to get in, Shannon? Yeah. Don't snap the rod right there. deep is it right here? First one. I'm pretty sure that's a rainbow. It looks like it. Yeah, it does. It's a big one, too. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Nicely done. Those treble hooks are nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Keep them or return them to the uh, ocean. Return them. You want a picture with them first? Oh. 
It's in his mouth. Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah. Look. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, how was the fight? Like at first, and then he chilled. Yeah. And then he picked up again. But... I'm about to change to something pink. Yeah. Because you're smaller than me too. <laughs> Dang, it looks huge in this picture. Nice. Okay. Yours looks like a giant. Um, oh, you throw it in the cooler. What we probably should do before we do anything else is have y'all do it on your phone because you're supposed to tag them as soon as you get them. Oh, okay. Did, did you get paperless? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll show you how to do it. You can. So I'll tell you. I don't know how much you guys paid for your licenses. Ninety bucks. Total? Yeah. Well, each. You paid for it. And that's more than if you went to the store to buy that. My really? mom said she paid for Coho, which is cheaper than that. That's probably $15 a pound, $20 a pound. Wow. So. Dinner tonight. He looks empty. I don't yeah. think there's anything in there. Yeah. yeah. Hello. So we just got back from our fishing adventure and it was a lot of fun. We caught four fish, I think. Shannon caught the first one, obviously, because she always catches the first one. She caught a huge rainbow, like it was huge. And then we caught two more coho salmon. I'm sure you'll see pictures of them. And then a third actually. So they invited us out to their place to clean them up and cook them up have a big old fish i was gonna say fish fry but we're up north so i don't think they do that here they're gonna treat us to some freshly caught salmon we're gonna leave the camera here we don't really feel like shoving cameras in their faces I'm at their house that they've invited us to so we're gonna go over there have some beer and chat eat some some of the salmon that we just caught and uh, we'll catch up with you guys later see ya Doing some bike riding at Fort Stevens State Park. shipwreck over here in the coast of Oregon. Yeah.
High wind and waves ran the Peter Iredell ashore in 1906. Pretty sweet to walk up to a shipwreck at low tide. Fort Stevens State Park is the bomb.com. Nine miles of bike trails, six miles of hiking trails, all kinds of habitats like spruce and hemlock forest, wetlands and dunes, fish in Coffinberry Lake, and military displays and World War II batteries. The list goes on. The only bad thing was we didn't book enough time at this awesome park. Whoa. What we were told was these were built during World War II to watch the Columbia River and Oceanside uh, for Japan invasion or Axis invasion. Built in 1906, manned until 1944, which is the year of D-Day. So there's some stairs on the other side we're gonna go check out. All we have is a GoPro, so. We'll see how the footage is. Wow. We just took the flashlight out of this bag. So, check it out. Wow, cool. Pretty cool, huh? It's pretty crazy. Oh, what? Oh, this is cool. Oh, what the heck? Battery. Wow, you can't see anything. Wow. Dude, get in. What? Get in that doorway real quick. Oh, stop. That's a thumbnail right there. You need to take a picture of me. Or I need to take a picture of you, actually. We hear that this fort out here is haunted. Apparently there were some ghost adventures filmed around Astoria, Oregon, and this is one of the spots they filmed and apparently found some ghost activity. So, ooh, perfect time for Halloween. Ooh. I wouldn't want to be out here at night, I'll tell you that much. All these little nooks and crannies where things are stored and things probably happened. Very you want to cool. go up? Yep. Rifle hole. 
Oh, these are steep. Huh. A lot more overgrown than I thought. I guess they were supposed to listen for orders to fire a gun. And that concluded our day exploring Fort Stevens State Park. It was our first visit to a state park and we absolutely loved it. Oregon State Parks are the best. Up next on Two Texans Travel. We have one more spot to visit before leaving our beloved Fort Stevens State Park and then head to Cannon Beach, Oregon and visit a very famous rock. It was just cheers. cheers. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Don't say damn it, you can still use it. <laughs> Exercise. He's escaping from the prison. You look cool. Believe it. The things we do for pictures. Wow. Okay, okay. Ah! <laughs>